गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम डॉक्टर सुमित सिन्हा सीनियर कंसल्टेंट कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट एट टी एक्स हॉस्पिटल बंजारा हिल्स आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द न्यू मोडेलिटीज ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ वैल्वुलर हार्ट डिसीज वैल्वुलर हार्ट डिसीज एज वी नो इन्वॉल्व द वैल्स विच आर लाइक टाइनी डोर्स विद इन द चेंबर्स ऑफ योर हार्ट सपरेटिंग द अपर एंड द लोअर चेंबर्स एंड द लोअर चेंबर्स एंड द ग्रेट आर्टरीज वेन एवर डिसीज involve or damage these valves it either leads to a narrowing of the valve that is called as stenosis or improper cooperation of the leaflets leading to leakage or otherwise called as regurgitation so you have involvement of the mitral valve the aortic valve and the tricuspid valve commonly and less often the pulmonary valve so when now earlier the treatment for these valvular diseases used to be surgery where the valves either used to be repaired or replaced now we have newer modalities of treatment like for the aortic valve we have an implantation of the aortic valve through a transcatheter means which is called as taver and this is very important because for elderly people with many comorbidities like you know liver disease or lung disease or kidney disease they can safely undergo this valve replacement through a transcatheter route just like you're performing an angioplasty you can implant this valve across the aortic valve similarly for mitral regurgitation we have a procedure called as mitra clip where the leakage of the mitral valve can be reduced by using this mitra clip similarly we have another device for the tricuspid valve where it can help in reducing the tricuspid valve leakage so now with the new technology and the newer modalities of delivering the valves through a non surgical means through a transfemoral route and a transcatheter route we can treat many of these valvular conditions